Hello, today I am going to show you how to build appointment templates over here on your schedule. So, um, as you can tell on mine, I have made it a few, <clears throat> excuse me, I have made a few templates um, on mine. So, in order to build them, first thing you want to do is come over to the schedule to the left and where it says schedule view, choose the option that says template editor. So, you may have noticed this turned to dark color which means um, we are now in template editor mode. In order to build these, it's very similar to scheduling a patient. You're going to simply double click on where you would like to build your template. You're going to get this box here and it says make template. So technically there's a couple of different ways to do this. Um, you could just put a note in here and maybe that note says um, do not schedule and then you can make the duration as long as you would like so if I wanted it for an hour I could put 60 and then I can save it like that when you're done again go back up here go back to schedule view kind of turns it a little bit lighter and so now we've made it clear um, we're not to schedule um, in this spot here the other way to do it and you may have noticed is you can use your exam and select those instead. And the nice thing about that is when you're on the appointment option over here, so we, I'm already on appointment, but I could switch back to status. Um, you can see that these colors, so they match, they ma the colors go together. So my medical visits are this greenish color, my exams are this um, bluish color, contact lenses are yellow, my glaucoma evals are orange. So how you can do that, is again we're going to go back to template editor and I could come up here to Dr. George Clooney double click this time instead of typing a note though I'm going to select an appointment type so if I wanted special testing I can mark that if we needed to change the duration we can um, or we could leave it at 15 which is what minus four and then you can save the template and again, that's going to make it that color here. Usually when you create um, these templates on your schedule, you will need more than one. So for that, um, double click, and I'm gonna use Dr. Sally Fields as my example. And again, you could use the type if you wanted to, I'll just say exam. We could say, um, we don't need to say anything here. We could leave it at 15. But up at the top left, there is a button that says create reoccurrence. So you get to set it up um, however you like. Do you want it every day, every week, just once a month, things like that. So if I wanted this daily on Dr. Sally Fields' schedule, um, I'm going to leave it up here at daily. And I'm just going to say every weekday. But there is an option, too, on certain days. Um, I'm just going to say every weekday. I like to repeat until an end date. So I'm a, I would just come over to the calendar and I would make this date out as far out as I could. So if I wanted to go, um, you know, maybe until like 2030 or maybe 2025, I could do that. So I've got that in there. January 1st, 2025 should be able to go out further if you'd like, and then we're just gonna say create. And so when we look at her her schedule, that template is set for her for at least the next five years. Um, you could get rid of them, so maybe she needed to take a day off or something came up. Um, you can double click on it, and you can click the delete button, and you can delete the template, just say yes. Since you created a reoccurrence template, Crystal is going to ask you if you do want to delete all of the templates on this particular one, or if you only want to delete this template here. And if you say no, it's only gonna delete the one day. But of course, when we come down here, her template is still here. So once you're done creating your templates, you can go back to schedule view and then of course, the staff, anybody can schedule over these. So um, if I wanted to put a patient 
on Dr. Fields that says that we can schedule medical visits, um, all I have to do is double click where it says medical visit. It already brings it up and I'm just going to put a patient on that. And we're just going to say save appointment. So it's kind of like a blanket. It'll actually put that appointment just over the top of your template. So that concludes my presentation on building templates over here on the schedule. Um, if you have any questions, please ask your trainer or feel free to reach out to um, Crystal Practice Management Tech Support at 1-800-308-7169, extension 1. Thank you and have a great day.